Alright, let's start with the what I know portion. Number one, which refers to the length of the entire path traveled by an object. So that's distance. Then which refers to the shortest distance between the two objects, two positions. So that's displacement. And number three, the change in position over an interval of time is called, yes, that's motion. Let's start with the what I know portion. So number one, which refers to the length of the entire path traveled by an object? The answer is distance. Number two, which refers to the shortest distance between two of the object's two positions? The answer is displacement. Number three, the change in position over an interval of time is called? The answer is motion. Alright, number 11, when is an object considered to be in motion? So, number 1, 2, 3 are the answers, 1, 2, and 3. So, when the position, the distance, the direction changes with respect to a point of reference, then you are in motion. Number 12, Jeffrey walked 300 meters east from home to visit Matthews. He then walked another 500 meters east to fetch Jen and both, both of them walked 300 meters west to watch the birds. Which of the following statements is true? So basically, Jeffrey's displacement is shorter than the total distance he has traveled. Yeah. Because... You can actually illustrate it. Let's illustrate it. So our topic for lesson one is all about distance and displacement. So what is the difference between these two words? So basically, before we proceed, we can describe motion or position by describing how far the object is from the point of reference and describing its direction with respect to a point of reference. So... The words that keep on repeating is point of reference. So what is this point of reference? So basically, when you say point of reference, ito yung part na not moving, wherein you used to compare the position. So for example, you have here the person walking, and there's the tree here. Okay. So, basically, yung point of reference natin is the tree. Kasi yung tree is stationary. It's not moving. Whereas the person is walking. So, that's the point of reference. So, basically, that's how we are going to describe point of reference as simple as we can. So, here, in this example, the tree is the point of reference. And we have the ball and the car. So, how far original is the car from the tree? So, basically, it's 30 meters. Before they started moving, what is the original distance between the car and the ball? So, between the car and the ball, so all you have to do is, so in between, it's 10 meters. So, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. It's 60 meters. If the car moves a distance of 2 meters in 1 second, how far will it be from the tree after 5 seconds? Alright, so 2 meters in 1 second. So after 5 seconds, it could be 10 meters. Suppose the ball covers a distance of 1 meter in 1 second. How much distance can cover in 5 seconds? So of course, it's 5 meters. Okay, 5 meters. Alright, let's have here. Now we're done describing how you can select the point of reference. Now let's differentiate distance and displacement. So basically, yung distance is the total length of path traveled from its initial position to its final position. So basically, i-add up nyo lang lahat ng distance na na-cover sa pag-travel, no? I-add up, there's no minus. Add lang, kasi total is the answer in addition. Whereas, for displacement, 
it is the difference between the final position and the initial position. So basically, ito yung uh, distance, the uh, no, ito yung how far out of place an object is from its initial position. Kaya nga, displacement ang tawag. So basically, yung distance is only the magnitude while displacement is with the direction and magnitude. It has both the magnitude and direction. Kaya tinatawag din natin vector ang displacement whereas itong distance kasi magnitude lang ang kailangan natin sa kanya scalar quantity itong distance. So, magkakaroon tayo ng example. So, like this. If the distance between the car and the tree is 30 meters, then the distance traveled by the car is 30 meters. Ah, let's have another example. The car has traveled a total distance of 60 meters, but the car ended up in its same starting point. So, basically, na-cover niya yung 60 meters. So, yung distance niya is 60 meters. Pero yung displacement niya is zero kasi bumalik siya sa kanyang starting point. Kaya, wala tayong ma-measure na out of place sa kanya. Kaya, zero meter. No? out of place sa kanyang initial position. Okay, let's have an example. A ball is rolled 2 meters to the right, like this, then rolled 1 meter to the left. Okay, 2 meters siya, then bumalik 1 meter to the left. It has again rolled 2 meters to the right. So from here, 2 meters ulit, so nandito na siya. To the right, during the course of this motion, the ball has covered a total distance of, yes, 2, then my, then meron tayong 1 meter, so 3 na siya, then another 2, so 5 meters. So 5 meters ang distance. But when it comes to the displacement, you need to consider the direction already. So in solving for the displacement, you need to remember the direction. So this is the north the south, the east, then the west. So, kapag north siya, positive. Kapag south, negative. Kapag east, negative. Ano no? Positive. West is negative. Okay? So, let's do it. So, let us solve for the displacement. Sabi dito, 2 meters to the right. So, it's 2. Positive 2. Then, to the left is 1 meter. Kasi nga, to the left or west siya. So, negative siya. So, minus 1 na tayo. And, 2 meters ulit to the right. So, it's plus 2. So, let us solve it. 2 minus 1, that's 1 plus 2. That's why it's called 3. And, uh, nasaan ang kanyang final position with respect to its initial position? So, nandito siya. So, you are going to label it with respect to its initial position. So, it's 3 meters. Take note, yung displacement is with direction. So, it should be 3 meters east. Okay, east kasi siya. Nandito na kasi ang ball. Yung, ang kanyang final position. Ang kanyang initial position is dito. So, with respect to the initial position, nasa east tayo. Okay, so 3 meters is madali lang ang distance at saka displacement. Okay, suppose the dog goes back to point A, A as its final position, what will be its displacement? So, kasi point A yung starting position natin, kapag bumalik siya sa point A, yung displacement niya is already zero. Okay, walang, walang ano, walang direction kasi nasa ano siya, point of origin. Is it possible to get zero displacement? Yes. Just like in number 9, bumalik sa original position niya. Yes. When can displacement be equal to zero? Kapag bumalik sa kanyang initial position or starting point. Suppose the dog travels only from point A to point B. What will be its total distance covered? Of course, it is 10 meters. How about its displacement? The same. 10 meters pa rin. Then, yes or to the right. 
when can displacement be equal to distance? Okay, so basically kapag straight line yung path traveled by the object. Then, can displacement be greater than distance? No. Kasi displacement is the shortest distance covered by an object. They could be equal, the distance and displacement, pero hindi pwedeng mas malaki yung displacement kaysa ni distance. Give one difference between distance and displacement based on the given example. So basically, difference nila, si distance is yung uh, magnitude lang ang kanyang ano. May magnitude lang siya. Mag-refer lang tayo sa magnitude. Itong displacement, we have the magnitude and direction. Okay? Let's proceed to the what I have learned portion. So, motion is defined as the change of position over an interval of time with respect to a reference point. An object is said to be moving when it is traveled a certain distance from the reference point or it is displaced from the reference point. In other words, the distance traveled by an object, how fast the object is traveling, and the direction in which the object travels to are measured with respect to a reference point. Distance is a scalar quantity. It has magnitude but no direction. To get the total distance traveled by a body, all we have to do is add all the distances traveled. On the other hand, displacement, a vector quantity, for it has both magnitude and direction, is the difference between two positions. Moreover, distance does not always follow a straight line unlike with displacement that always follows a straight line. Displacement measures the length of the straight line that connects the object's point of origin and its point of destination, while distance measures the length of the path traveled by the object. I hope this is clear to you. Alright, now let's proceed. Number three, which of the following measures the length of the straight line that connects the object's point of origin and its point of destination? It's displacement. Number four, which of the following shows a distance covered by an object? So it's 20 meters. This, because when you say 15 seconds, that's time. 10 meters per second, that's already the how fast. Then this one is not a distance but displacement, the letter D. For number 5, which of the following best dis differentiates distance from displacement? The answer is, distance is the total length of the entire path traveled by an object, while displacement is the shortest distance between the object's two positions. Next, number 6, what is the position of the car with the house as its reference point? So, with the house as, at I as its reference point, the distance is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. It's 50 meters. What is the position of the ball with the house as its reference point? So 10, 20, 20 meters. Number 8, how far is the car from the ball? The car is 30 meters to the left of the ball. If the ball moves from its position to the 30 meter mark, what is its displacement? It's 30, 10 meters. Suppose the car moved 20 meters to the right and turned 10 meters back. So let's try to draw it. The car moved 20 meters to the right, then turned 10 meters, like that. What are its distance traveled and its displacement? So, yung distance niya is 30, pero yung displacement niya is only 10. Okay, that's num letter C. Next, number 11. Assume that the ball moved to the house and rode back to its original position. How far would the ball travel and what would be its displacement? So, the distance of the ball from its reference point will be 40 meters and its displacement would be 0 meter. Assume, okay, let's proceed. Assume that the car moved to the house and moved back to its original position. What would be its distance and displacement? So, the distance traveled by the car will be 100 meters and its displacement would be 0. If the position of an object is not changing, what do you think does this indicate about its displacement? So, it's zero. And we have for number 14, Glenn was asked by science teacher if an object displacement could be shorter than distance. He answered is yes. Is Glenn's answer correct? The answer is yes. And number 15, just go over with the correct answer. It's almost time na kasi. So, see you. And I hope this helps. Bye-bye.